hello guys uh, good day uh, welcome to BMS crypto YouTube channel so today we're going to be talking about the ZK sync uh, blockchain the ZK rollup or uh, as you can see here this is ZK sync and it solves ethereum scalability problems and the security is still high like just like that of ethereum but it scales ethereum on fastness and uh, cheaper gas fee so uh we first of all have to go to the the apps that are building on uh, uh zk sync this is curve we all know curve by andre and then how it actually works then this is i i in token this is vitalik like his comment on zk this agent wallet agent wallets are compatible with zk sync uh, Metamask is also compatible with ZK Sync, and uh, they have the gas is cheap. Ten minutes finality of the transaction, or oh, asset can be moved capital efficient and fast between ZK Sync rollup and layer ones. Like from layer one to layer two, which is this is layer two. Ethereum is the layer one, right? So, and um, these guys are trying to scale Ethereum. These guys are. When they compare themselves with other uh, rollups, they perform much, be much, much better, right? And you can see it here. <laughs> now, when they, when they, this is for optimist op optimism. When they compared with optimistic rollup, and then when they compared with other rollups here, the stack based rollup, they have higher uh, compatibility to it. Now stack is not even EVM compatible. Yeah, I think stack is EVM compatible. Okay, sure. Let's let's move on to the wallet. This is this is just like your normal uh, MetaMax wallet, but you have to create account inside the casing. And remember this. I think this was one of the criteria for their edge jobs, right? So opening an account, opening a wallet here, you have your MetaMax, right? You just have to like um click on the open wallet and then it will actually lead you to where the ZK uh, platform where you can perform transactions okay here it is you can log in with your metamax this is portal Just connected my metamax as you can see this is the version 2 right this is the version 2 which is still on the test net do you understand now look at let's go to the version 1 this is the key version 1 it's kind of loading so you see that the zk roll up uh, perform transactions and they have version 1 and version 1 entails you can just the transactions you can do on version 1 is mint and NFT with an ID uh, trade on zigzag. Okay, let's also open zigzag so that it can be easy. Zigzag exchange. Okay, this is layer one wallet to start. So I need to connect a layer one wallet to start. I connect Ethereum and I connect MetaMask. This is ZK Sync version one, right? Which is on mainnet. The version two is still on testnet. And what do you? What do I mean by? Sorry. What do I mean by testnet? Testnet means that they have not like launched it, the full app. They are still testing what they have built, and they are actually telling users to come and test also, right? So if I'm topping up here, that means I have to move money from layer one to layer two and if I'm using the bridge look at these bridges here zigzag uh, zigzag is an exchange it's also have a bridge Obita is an exchange is a bridge complete bridge to layers all layers on block on ethereum compatible addresses and ZK Sync, which is the main app itself they also have their own personal bridge just like we talked on optimism and arbitrum they have their own bridges right but you can also use other bridges to like bridge it to them. There's an exchange buy bids. You can buy a uh, Ethereum from there and send straight to CKC. Now these are 
apps you can do with your credit cards but this is not for nigerians actually so i think moonpay is for nigeria too but we don't have good uh, banks and they don't our banks don't accept we pay dollars with our cards so we can actually like move this is it when you top up your money you have some balance here if you move some it here you have some balance here right so connect to it and then so you can actually mint an nft here if you want to this is fashion one this is the casing fashion one it doesn't have much uh, ui ux that is it um So you can see I just signed it up. I think this is a new wallet. So so actually this if you check the history so there I've not done any transaction here. So but I think you need to have transaction here to be able to qualify for the uh, coming airdrop. The token will be launching very very soon. So you can perform this transaction if you have some some fund like buy Ethereum from from Binance coming to this link wallet.zk singles account I'm gonna add this link on the video description so then you can just move the phone using the the sync bridge look at the sync bridge right when you click on this sync bridge it's gonna like open the bridge here so it tells you how much do you want to move from minutes like look at this balance here if I say I want to move this $44 right now I'm gonna move like okay let's say one nineteen dollars then i'm just gonna move it and it's gonna create the account for me on the uh the zk sync uh, blockchain well actually don't want and the fee is two dollars to bridge from layer one to layer two so that's what i mean when ethereum when i say ethereum gas is like because this is main net and these guys are trying to reduce this gas so when you move your it here it becomes cheaper to transact here right so guys uh the next thing we're going to look at is the dab on zk sync one we have uh, the zk sync uh the zigzag exchange this is where you can actually buy and sell it so if you connect your wallets here you can put amount of it you want to buy and the one you want to sell amount this is complicated right i'll still teach the method of trading this is market price this is the price the market it is now so you put the number of it you want to buy right so i have not actually activated this wallet you see the zk casing account is not activated please use the bridge to deposit funds to zk casing and activate your zk casing wallet so when this wallet is activated i'm going to like have be able to trade on this uh, uh what exchange now they have moved me to their bridge so that I can actually bridge it from layer one to layer two right so um if I come here if I come here now this is the main next explorer this is where transaction data are stored so if you want to like search for a transaction that happened here you can actually put the wallet address here or the transaction hash or even the domain name of the person like look at you can see my my domain name here let me start it so if i put it here this this is my one of my airdrops wallet so if i search for it look it's going to show some transaction i've done here and the data of those transactions that have happened on zk sync right so let's go and see See, I've done 40, 47 transactions on ZK Sync, and that's my wallet address. So, if I search domain name, wallet address, if you don't register, if you didn't register the domain name like bloomstar.it, you can't use it. So, you need to register it. So, we'll still talk about domain names when it comes to that. So, uh, this is an NFT I minted back then. This is the transaction I've done. Look at let's, let's see the transaction data. This is just the explorer, the ZK Sync scan. This is the ZK scan. So the transaction hash is this. This is 
type deposit I deposited from layer one. You can see from layer one to layer two amount four months ago. You can see the time and the date. So that is that about that. So when it comes to the version two, we have the the all of most of them are on testnet. Uh, this is the ecosystem. This is the version two. And this is the bridge on version two, but it's still on testnet. This is the wallet on version two, uh, so you can be able to see your wallet. If you don't have any transaction on your wallet, you won't be able to see any phone in your wallet, right? So this is the ecosystem, and this is the the, the apps that are actually building on the ecosystem for the version two, right? But they are still on testnet. Now this is agent wallet. This is one inch, you already know one inch from. Uh, the optimism ethereum videos we did this on two wallets uh we have the sync swap sync swap is still on testnet let me show you okay you can see it here this is sync sync swap dot xyz So, at least I've shown you the data, the uh, blockchain explorer. Then I've shown you the exchange, the zigzag exchange. Now this is swap, but still on testnet for version two zk sync. So guys, I uh, think if you really want to position yourself for zk sync, if you like activate your wallet, perform some transaction there, you, you don't know you might be a drop some tokens in the future. So that is that and you can also do the testnet videos i posted on zk sync it's still in this video description it's still in this video down below just search for it you see the full videos on all the protocols on, on sync swap so you can actually uh like perform those transactions and position yourself for hair jobs right so i think this this guy is finding it difficult to load completely So we can explore more down to the ecosystems here. Connect is a bridge. Bybit is an exchange. Banza is a gateway and an exchange as well. So there are a lot of apps that are actually building on ZK Sync because it's one of the best rollups out there after Polygon. I think Polygon is the next game financed by uh, what's it called? Wayanje. And this guy is not coming. Taking a lot of time to load. Maybe it's since it's in it's in uh, testnet phase. Who knows? Okay. So this is just like a swap dex but still on the testnet. So you can see it here. So um, I think that will be that about the casing. You can just follow the video guide. And do all that edge of guiding down below. So, thank you all so much for watching. Do subscribe and see you in our next video, guys. Bye. Bye bye.